welcome back to DBC Creation. I still my humble self, Dima Aneke, and thank you for joining me today. So today I'm going to show you guys how to manipulate your shoulder that. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first and foremost, I like to draw a straight line and label it our center front, and also draw a straight line from here. And label it our starting point SP. So without wasting time, without wasting time, my neck length and width will be three by three. We will be three inches by three. So I'm going to draw a straight line and connect. So, after drawing a straight line, I'm going to use my rule and make a curve. So, after making a curve, my shoulder, my shoulder is 14 divided by 2 will give me 7. So, here is 7 and I love subtracting 1 inch. For my shoulder slope so i'm going to mark out my shoulder slope sorry I'm going to mark out my shoulder slope here sorry guys so from here my bust is 10 and my and my waist is 17 so i'm going to draw a straight line So what we are going to be working on with this tutorial is our chest, our bust, our waist, our bust height, and our waist, our bust span. Also, our shoulder to chest, shoulder to bust, and shoulder to waist, which we have gotten our shoulder to bust and our shoulder to waist. So how do I get my shoulder to, to my chest? So I suffer three inches upwards, and here is my my chest line or my chest height so this is uh, my chest line this is my bust line and this is my waist line so without wasting time my bust span is three is seven seven divided by two will give me three and a half so i'm going to mark out three and a half here three and a half here then three and a half here and make a straight line all through down three and half then three and half so from here i'll add my one inch here you here will be our here is where our bust meets so here will also be labeled as our bust point so from here i'm going to connect this one inch to our bust point So after connecting it to our bust point, I like adding extra three inches to this and also connect it here to our bust point also. So here is our shoulder that. So without wasting time, I'm going to get our shoulder length and also our armhole. How do we do that? So we are going to fold this into two. And place it exactly here so here is our and place it on our second dart here is here is the first dart and here is the second dart so after placing it on the second dart we are going to make a straight line so after making a straight line so remember Guys, remember that here is seven. Here is seven, and here is our is seven. So we are going to measure our shoulder. So from here is seven. Then 
you make this lens line okay, since we have gotten our shoulder that all we have to do to replace this SS is to replace the to replace this SS out so all we have to do is to fold it back once again and add that 4.1 we got from this 4.1 and add it here then here is our sp2 and here is our sp1 so and this must be equal to this so here the angle is 90 which is 75 so we make sure that it's the same with this so 75 yeah so is 75 uh, okay it's now 70 make sure that the angle is the same so here we are going to draw a slant line so since we have gotten a slant line remember that this is also the same this will go for seven inches down so we are going to measure seven inches all the way down So, and here we have to be 90 degree, 90 degrees also. So, here is 90 degree. So, we make a slant curve also. So, what we need to achieve our armhole is our bust our bust here and also our chest line so our bust is bust is eight and a half sorry so you're going to measure eight and a half which is somewhere here somewhere here and our bust is uh, 9.25 9.25 here plus our half inch for C for ease so we are going to make a slant line and connect it here so since we have gotten here here all we have to do is to use our French curve and place it so that all this we, from this SP or SP2, we meet up with our chest line and also with our bust, our bust line. So without wasting time, let's connect. Oh, please make sure you place it so that the three points, one point, two points, and three points, we meet each other. So from here, I'm going to connect to here. So this is now our armhole. So to get our to get our waist, our waist is uh, seven point seven five. So somewhere here, seven point seven five. Then plus half is half inch is. So we are going to connect it. So we are going to connect this down. So since you have gotten our, we are going to subtract half inch here, half inch here for our dart. So we are going to connect it from this our boss point all through down here and also connect this side all through down here. So guys, I'm going to use a red marker and mark out the places that, or the points that we are going to use. We are going to start cutting out right away. So, but please, my 
suggestion is remember that this is exactly the body just the accurate body measurement so when placing it on your fabric please add your inches like here you have to add half inch for your seam allowance and here you have to add half inch for your seam allowance also for your armhole you would not have to add any inches here because here when placed on the fabric the fabric is going to fold into two so from here you will add your seam allowance here maybe one inch or so so here you have to add your half inch then also here you have to add your half inch so let's get so guys this is how to manipulate your shoulder that so if you love this video or if you love this tutorial so here is how it's supposed to look like so if you love this tutorial give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not done so and drop your comments down below if you have any questions about how to manipulate your dad and i'll be so glad to answer you guys so see you in my next video bye guys and remember that i love you bye